Though the residents call it the town of James Island, the state Supreme Court ruled for the third time, and we told you about that, that it is in fact a part of the city of Charleston. Yeah, News 2's Laura Hedegar was at tonight's town council meeting to find out if James Island residents plan to try for number four. The town of James Island, uh, which will be a town no matter what anyone else wants to say about it. That was the theme of Tuesday night's regularly scheduled town council meeting in James Island. For the time being, however, the state Supreme Court seems to have a lot to say about whether the island should be a separate entity from the city of Charleston. What their decision basically said, their order said was, what we want to do is not unconstitutional. There's an issue of contiguity and how the lines and how the roads match up um, to become a town. Monday's Supreme Court decision marked the third time the island has been told that it was not properly formed. So despite what the 40 people in attendance want for James Island, it will be a lengthy process before real progress will be seen. We get the paperwork ready right now for the fourth incorporation. We have it ready to go. And once that happens, we'll have to go through the entire process again of filing the paperwork, getting in front of a circuit judge, going through all the appeals, and ending up in the Supreme Court again. While many people in the meeting praise the elected officials, others fear this ruling not only means James Island can't be a town, but that the controversial 526 extension will be built. Island residents are very passion passionate about not allowing this uh, highway project to come through our island. And it was very hard, that is the first thing I thought about is very heartbreaking that we're not gonna have a voice in that anymore. As Council Member Wilder Smalls left tonight's meeting, she assured me that the people of James Island are ready to fight. Fight the state Supreme Court ruling so that one day they will officially be their own town. In Island, Laura Hedegar, News 2. All right, thank you, Laura. James Island does have 14 days to file a petition for a rehearing. However, lawyers and elected officials stress the entire process of refiling and going in front of a judge will take several months.